Hello and welcome back to our X4 Star Wars Interworlds Let's Play Poorly. Uh, so I was asked uh, to go through my mod list. So I don't really have too many running in Star Wars Interworlds, uh, just a few. So a subset of what I usually run in the modded game. So what you'll see here, uh, I've got the mod support APIs, which you needed for uh, need for a few other things in the uh, in in the mod list. Maiku's cleaner HUD, which kind of reduces the clutter on the HUD, which I love. Star Wars in Worlds, of course. And then I've got the Sector Explorer mod, which uh, lets you automate uh, sector exploration. I've got Sector Satellites, which basically lets you automate uh, satellite dropping and resource probe dropping. Uh, then I've got QWERTY's UI extensions in HUD, which is uh, used for a bunch of his other mods. The Accept Missions for Later mod, which allows you to do two things. It allows you to take new missions without uh, assigning your current mission to the one you just took. It also lets you take multiple uh, guild missions at once. The Reset Mouse uh, mod, because I use a HODAS, I, I, I need to have the mouse cursor off the screen as much as possible, and Reset Mouse lets me do that. And uh, that's it. Uh, those are all the mods that I currently have for the Star Wars Interworlds uh, playthrough. As you can see, I have a bunch of other mods that I have here, uh, but all of these are for the modded playthrough. I don't uh, load these up in Star Wars Interworlds because they're not really necessary or they, they might interfere with what Star Wars Interworlds is doing. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And now back to our regularly scheduled game. Let's see what we were doing. We were waiting on that guy. We we're doing a mission here. We're doing this escort mission. Actually, that's the station. We're waiting on the ship now in uh, there he is. Now this escort mission is in Star Wars Interworlds as part of the part of the mod. Um, but it comes from QWERTY's uh, emergent missions mod, I think. I think I think they're just adapting the that mod to Star Wars Interworlds because it has the same kind of mission text. Uh, and it does the same kind of thing as, as that mod. And it's funny because this is the ship that I had been... I think this is the ship that I had been attacking before. But now, uh, now we're escorting it. Star Wars is a brutal universe. Where are they going? Oh, they're not going too far. My freighter is doing doing the job of a scout right now because I don't have anything else for it to do. Just gonna wait for it to to drop in. I don't want to get too far away from it because you lose, you don't get as much money. Uh, you you uh, get money based on how long you're actively act, uh, escorting the ship. So. And I think you have to get within like seventy five kilometers to to remain active. At least that's the way it is in QWERTY's mod. I don't know if uh, they tweaked it for Star Wars Interworlds, but I would imagine they probably didn't. It seems to be a pretty decent uh, mechanic for that. There we go. Jump completed. Encore down. Where'd he go? Is he here yet? It's not here yet. Come on. Where'd you go? There he is. I think I know it's this guy.
find the other guy? What the heck is happening? Hey, buddy. Where are we going? Ninety-five. What a waste of a ship. This thing cannot hit anything. I mean, it hits, but it does such rinky-dink damage. Pew, pew, pew. Useless. I mean, it is just a scout. So. Wow, you're uh, you're going straight in nose down, aren't you? All right. docking that might be it I don't think I think this is the second dock that it needed to do but once that completes we'll get the money yeah I think we're done Yep, Thank you. there it is, 130k. All right, to 410. I'm not going to be able to do that with this ship. That's ridiculous. And deliveries, no. Uh, I could do. I could do that. Uh, that's not a lot of money. Honestly, it's not really worth it. Yeah, it is this guy. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to kill you now. But I'm going to wait, because I don't want to get in trouble with the MDW. And let you get out of, uh, out of range. You're heading where? I don't know. No oh, shit, that's a lot of uh, patrol ships. Please halt. We'll be scanning your inventory. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. Turn my guns back on. Ah, uh, could have done that. Would have been so smooth. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get out of there. Don't go, 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 go. Fuck. Nah, shit. Uh, 
man. These speeds. Okay, I need to get behind him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Oh, got it. Oh, wow. That was it. That was easy. I guess he was, uh... I guess he was mad at my sudden betrayal. I escorted him the whole way and then waited until he uh, got in doubt in the middle of the open space and then... ganked him again. Ooh, what's going on over there? This looks like a little convention. Okay. Jump completed. Encore down. Still getting used to tracking how quickly those the travel drive turns off in in the worlds. It's very very fast because it, obviously it's meant to be a hyperdrive in the Star Wars style. So I keep forgetting that I don't actually have to give myself some lead time. Docking granted. Alright, so this is gonna give me some money. How do I how do I get out of you? Oh shit, I forgot. There we go. Some of the Star Wars ships uh, take some work um, to get in and out because of the way the the geometries are set up. Oh shit, gotta remember to uh, turn off my audio. One second here, there we go. Because uh, we're going into the bar, which has. The canteen, cantina music that we can't turn off because it's not part of the music uh, volume. All right. Got it. That's a chunk of money. All right. Head back. I'll be able to turn on my audio in just a second. And there we go. All right. Jew. Okay. Now. We have a bit of money. Oh, I could do another one of these. I'll just leave that sitting there. I'm going to go ahead and um, get a scout ship to do this job for me. Minimum preset. We're going to call you Boy Scout. Mind the gap. All right, that's going to take a minute. Do we have other missions? Miss my ride? No, thanks. My problem is I this ship is bullshit as far as um, doing any kind of bounty hunting slash combat. And I can't get any of these yet. Definitely can't get any of these yet. So we're going to have to figure some shit out. What I'll probably have to do is put my actual trader on a trading run of some sort. Let's see. Oh, wow, they don't know any sold wares. Oh, did I, or did I, did I not set that right? Oh, I only set it for solid. Okay, let's go to container. There we go. All 
right, I could do that. Let's go and set you to hold position. Buy some silicon wafers. And sell them over there. Get a teeny bit of money. But the goal really here is for, is for rep. Oh, that's a decent one. We'll start with that. Boy Scout's ready to go. Done. Okay. Now what we need to do... So can we... I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we just gotta try it. I feel like we're tissue paper at this point, but what else are we gonna do? What are you sending me? What the heck is over there? Ah, oh, now it's over here. over there. I haven't really been much around in there. That's okay. They're heading to a station, looks like, somewhere around, maybe the, even the trading station, because they're not aiming for the jump beacon. and save so that our stupidity does not ruin us. Be right back. Okay. Let's do this. Guns up. Didn't want to forget that again. Oh yeah, you definitely are going... Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to wait around for it to come back out. Now, because the uh, because Star Wars Interworld is now using uh, the reputations and professions and so forth, this plus 15, we, we are actually going to need to do some other kinds of work. To um, 
Let's see, where do we find this now? Let me see if I can find this correctly. Let me pause real quick. How do they lay it out in uh, in Interworlds? I know that in uh, Cordy's mod, it's it's in along here. The uh, there's an option for looking at the statuses. Uh, but right now, uh, for do 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 Death Watch, we don't have military access. Uh, and I have a feeling I, I need to do something to be able to do that. I can't just get it from uh, from rep, maybe. Maybe? Maybe not. I should probably read the readme. I thought maybe I had figured it out just because of the... Uh, because I knew QWERTY's mod pretty well. But the problem is he has a button on his that... Uh, that would give you what your rep info is and, and what your uh, professions are. And I don't think Star Wars Inner Worlds uses the profession system. It's probably, it is, it does seem to be using some kind of reputation system, though. So, yeah, I'll, I'm going to have to read that, read, read up on that somehow. That's all right. Oh, actually, though, no, you know what? It might, they might have put it in the messages. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Okay. Private tier. And then various assets. Okay. Assets cheaper than 100. Oh, mm, boy. Mon Gaza. And this is my rating. Okay, so I am rated at 550,000 credits. That's it. I am a privateer. All right, so um, here we go. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. Resident access levels required for military ships. Okay, so I need to be resident. Um, Mandalorian Death Watch resident production station. We need one production station and at least 50k in uh, credit transactions. Okay, so that's uh, that that's useful to know. I will be able to do that at some point. But for right now, we've got a few more minutes in the episode, and I gotta fuck this thing up. Try to anyway. But he is an MDW ship, so I don't want to fight him near this station. Oh, there he goes. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright, he's gonna take a second to reload his hyperdrive. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh, my guns are bullshit! Oh, I gotta get out from behind you. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to be behind you. Oh, don't also don't want to bump into you. Jesus, don't want to end up in your geometry. All of that's bad. You're in for it. Let me get out of here. I need to reload my shields. Come on. Shields, where are you, shields? There we go. Slowly, slowly. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Keep my shields up. You're in for. You'll regret that.
Very, very slowly. Oh, shit. Okay, overheating. And I lost my shields. Okay, don't let me die. Don't let me die, Space Jesus. For it. Okay. Okay, okay. Nope, gotta stay at an angle. Don't wanna get hit. But I wanna stay close enough that if he ends up trying to go into warp, trying to go into jump, that I will be able to catch him. Just gotta wait for my shields to come back. Come on, shields. God, they're so damn slow! Oh, fuck. You'll regret that. And my shields. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that's bad. way, way lower than his. Alright, I'm gonna wait until I get fully... fully recharged to try again. Okay. Let's give it a shot. All right, overheating. Let's get out of here. Shields coming back. Get spaced. Another run. That's it. You're in for it. That's the thing I needed. Why am I uh why am I still shooting you? Feels like that mission bugged out. That's alright, we're just gonna blow the fuck out of you. I don't care. I don't care. YOLO. Well, I do now. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have a, a good thing to replace that with, so I am going to re reload when we start again. Um, and at that point, uh, maybe hold off on trying until I have a better ship. The big problem with this one wasn't that I couldn't do it. I mean, I got, uh, I got shot right in the face that time. Uh, it's just that it was taking very long because my guns are bullshit. So um, when we come back, I will, uh, save up money on another method to, um, uh, to buy a better ship with better guns and then come at this thing again. Thanks for watching. See you next time.